is Jessica. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. All right. Now, how may I help you? We're just giving a call because we have a promotion right now for a whole house air duct cleaning. It includes an unlimited number of vents to a single furnace, a dryer vent cleaning, and a visual furnace inspection for thirty nine ninety five. It's usually two hundred. Wow, that sounds like a magnificent offer. Who, who is this? U.S. Air Ducts. U.S. Air. Are you are you in the United States? Yes, we are. Um, we're in Vancouver, Washington, and then we have a technician that um, comes out of. Uh, Stanford, Connecticut, but go to New Jersey, and they service the East Coast for us. All right, so I, what am I supposed to do? Um, let me get your zip code, and I'll pull up my schedule, and we can find a time that'll work. Oh, wait, 06905 would be the right one. Check in my schedule. What about a Saturday? Well, now, suppose I could I could work on a Saturday. That's I mean, I don't work. Uh, I used to work, but I don't work now. You worked hard enough for long enough, and then they said that they'll pay you to have time off? Well, actually, what what happened to me, I recently lost my job, so that was uh, oh. that very disappointing. I was I was a fence mender. Oh. I, I was working on a fence. I was working on uh, Miss Murphy's uh, fence uh, when apparently there were some unusual circumstances that caused me to lose my job. Oh man, that's a bummer. Now, now, but on the other hand, it sounds like your your service here is reasonably priced because I don't have a whole lot of cash now. My wife Isabella, we, she and I've been married for four to three years. As a matter of fact, coming up next month, we're so we're uh, living a little bit uh, on a budget. Your first and last name? My name is Wayland. Jeremiah Wayland. And I would be Jeremiah Whalen, the fence worker, if it weren't for the unusual circumstances. I don't know if you believe in UFOs, but I was working one day on this fence outside when suddenly a UFO came down. Now, I don't believe in them personally, but what ended up happening is these three gentlemen, I call them gentlemen, came out and said they were looking for a human specimen to take back. Now... I know you must think I'm crazy, but I was standing there talking to these people. I said, well, I can't go with you because I'm working on this fence. They said, well, we don't have time to go around, uh, shop around or whatever. Apparently, they were just on on the clock also, just like I was. Well, I said, why don't you go get that Abaduba Jabba guy, the guy, for the, the former president from Iran. He's not doing anything. And they said, we don't have time for that. We're going to take you. Can you believe this? Next thing I know, this Blu-ray thing comes out of the top. And I become hypnotized. Next thing I know, I'm lying there and the fence is done. I go back to my boss and he said, Waylon, where the hell have you been? I said, well, I was doing my work. And he said, I don't want to hear any story about that. I had to have somebody come in and do your job for you. Well, guess what? Those alien people took me a whole week. I was gone. Now, I, th- I, I should sue them for, for a loss at work. What would you do? Same thing. What's the address we're going to be coming to? Well, I would go to 1212 Summer Street. It's I lost my job because of some green guys looking for a human specimen. I don't think that's right at all. Not at all. No, ma'am. So I have you down for the 10th between 4 to 6? We'll yes, ma'am. The day before to confirm it. And then um, do you need our office number in case anything comes up? I most certainly would appreciate that. Ready? I, I am. Yes, ma'am. 844-893-6828. 6828. All right. Very good. Okay. So we will see you on the 10th between 4 and 6. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Oh, take care. Really?